Vision is the most dominant sense in human world. God created senses to make us aware of our surroundings. The quality of senses categorize the brain compartments for priority based processing. For example, in a dog brain, the part devoted to analyzing smell is 40 times greater than ours. Similarly, dogs have 40 times more olfactory receptors than humans. So we can say that smell is dominant sense in dogs. Coming back to humans, for processing such large amount of visual information, we have a well developed portion in our brain known as occipital lobe. The data from our surroundings need to be consistent. In other words, without a lag or a glitch. What if there is a delay in your visual processing? Same as your home internet. The consequences can be drastic, right? For this, occipital lobe should be complicated enough to deal the constant strain. Now, human eyes are different than other animals for their varying degree of explication. The outermost region of the eye is the cornea. Light passes through the cornea first. Light is then refracted when passed through the cornea because it has a curved convex shape. The image formed by the cornea is upside down and reversed from right to left. The light then passes through iris, the colored part of the eye which helps regulate the amount of light entering the eye. It basically controls the intensity of light. When there is bright light, the iris closes the pupil to let in less light. And when there is low light, the iris opens the pupil to let in more light. The light then passes through pupil to fall onto lens. Now lens is the most important part of animal eyes as its nearly transparent bioconvex structure suspended behind the iris of the eye, the sole function of which is to focus light rays onto the retina. The level of visual acuity is defined by lens in animal eyes and it varies from animal to animal. For example, eagles have large transparent lenses that have the ability to change shape. The purpose of the lens being able to change shape is so eagles can quickly focus off an object with accuracy. That's why eagles have excellent long distance vision. They can see clearly about 8 times as far as humans can, allowing them to spot and focus in on an animal at a distance of about 2 miles. That's great. All the structures in human eyes work correspondingly to bend the light onto retina. The retina receives the image that the cornea iris pupil focuses through the eye's internal lens and transforms this image into electrical impulses. We can tolerate very large scars on our bodies with no concern except for our vanity. This is not so in the cornea. No matter how well the rest of the eye is functioning, if the cornea is scarred, clouded or distorted, we will be affected. For a better understanding, I'll compare a camera with human eye. This is similar to what happens when a camera captures an image. First, light hits the surface of the camera's lens. The aperture controls how much light enters the camera. Then the light makes its way to a light sensitive surface. For a long time, this surface was the camera's film. In today's digital cameras, this surface is an imaging sensor chip. Retina, film and imaging sensor chip all have one thing in common. They all receive an inverted like upside down version of the image. The lens in both an eye and a camera is convex or curved outwards. When light hits a convex subject, it refracts. This flips the image upside down. But you don't see images upside down, right? And the movies you watch aren't supposed either. Why not? This is because your brain steps in to help your eyes. It knows the world is supposed to be right side up, so it flips the image over again. Digital cameras are programmed to make the correction on their own. Non digital cameras contain a prism or a mirror that flips the image so it appears right side up. Film is transparent so you can view the images either way around. So that was all about basics of optics. For more videos, follow scaria.com and wait for the next episode.